Oh my, you all. I think I just met the Grinch. No, seriously, I did. I'm sure of it. You know the Grinch, right? I'm a grumpy, selfish, rude, with a heart two sizes too small. You know. Oh, wait, hold on, wait a second. <gasps> there, he looks like this. Yeah, you know him, right? Well, I'm sure I just met him. He didn't look like this. He was in disguise. But I could tell it was him. I could tell it was him because he was being so rude to the cashier at the co-op today. Yeah, very rude and mean. I could tell the cashier's feelings were hurt. But she did a great job of not letting him get to her. In fact, after she had packed up all of his stuff, she wished him a happy day. She did. She said, have a great day. And she was even smiling when she said it. <laughs> that seemed to really surprise him. He was so confused. I think he was even a little embarrassed. Have you? Have you ever met the Grinch in disguise? Someone who tried to take away your joy or someone else's joy? I think we've probably all met people like this. Eh, if I'm honest, I bet we've all kind of been people like this. It's part of being human, I think, to get a little grumpy sometimes. We all do. That's not a problem, not a problem at all. But it is a problem when we get stuck there. Like the Grinch. The Grinch definitely was stuck there. And it really annoyed him that the Who's in Whoville were so joyful and excited about Christmas. It annoyed him so much, in fact, that he tried to steal their Christmas. He took all of their presents, all of the decorations, the tree, away. And then he just waited to see their reaction. But he was the one who was surprised by the reaction, when instead of hearing what he thought would be anger and sadness, he heard singing, joyful singing. The Who's were so full of joy that even the Grinch stealing Every Christmassy thing they had couldn't take away their joy. They couldn't help but sing. And my favorite line from the story is when the Grinch says, maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. Have you ever wondered how the Who's did that? How did they stay so joyful, even when the Grinch was doing his very best to steal their joy away? How'd they do it? I wonder if it was because they understood that joy wasn't about things like Christmas trees and presents, but that it was about something, something on the inside, something in their heart. I think so. I think so because remember when the Grinch saw their joy and their joy kind of just went right on into him and his heart grew three times? That's what joy does. It grows hearts. But the thing is, it isn't automatic. Joy is something we need to grow. It's like a little seed planted there in our hearts. And we need to help it grow by looking for and spending time with things that bring us joy. I think God planted that seed. The seed of joy in our hearts was put there by God, but it is our job to help it grow. Of course, we need God's help. So this week in Advent, this is the week of joy. And I would love it if you would practice 
taking care of your joy seed. Think you could do that? How about we start right now? So take a second to think of three things that bring you joy. Now they shouldn't be things that you can buy. Things like, hmm. well, let me just tell you my three things and maybe that will help you to understand better the kinds of things that I'm talking about. So the things that bring me joy are time with my family, going for walks with my dog, Zooming with my friends. Oh, delivering the faith kits to McClure families. That brought me a lot of joy. Looking at Christmas lights. Crawling into my warm, comfy bed at night. Playing in the snow. 